Um, uh, Seema, Messina De Niro was 30 years on the run. So how did police manage to finally catch up with him? Well, Annette, I think that really is the big question. You're absolutely right. I mean, a man on the run for 30 years, he'd never been in prison. Uh, he's wanted for those gruesome crimes. In fact, he had a nickname known as Diabolic. So really, how could they have caught him? I mean, the details are coming in now and one can only speculate how they managed to get this far. But the authorities uh, were staking out this clinic uh, in the Sicilian capital of Palermo. He was said to have been detained as he was receiving therapeutic treatment. Uh, some media outlets are referring to possibly cancer treatment, but we're still waiting for the confirmation of that. Uh, ANSA, uh, the Italian news agency, reporting that he was actually receiving treatment at that clinic for almost a year. Um, the thing is, it's not like the authorities actually know what he looks like or have enough information to sort of lock him down, but clearly this this time round, they believe they have. And, um, you know, they knew that he was issuing orders to the local Sicilian mafia, the Cosa Nostra, uh, from secret locations, even as uh, late as September last year. So he was very much considered to be active. One can assume, perhaps, uh, that the Italian authorities were working closely with mafia turncoats, informants within the mafia who may have come forward uh, in order to uh, provide information Information, and perhaps they worked with those information to eventually lock down those details. We do know he was arrested at 9.35 a.m. local time this morning. Uh, media uh, uh, showing footage of an arrest. Uh, they're showing that uh, people around that area, locals in Palermo, were clapping and applauding the arrest while um, the carabinieri or the military police that were behind it, some of them were seen even hugging uh, each other at the sign of uh, taking control of the situation and arresting someone who has been on the run, as you put it, for some three decades. And Seema, what's been the reaction across Italy? Well, what we've been hearing is the Italian Prime Minister, Giorgia Meloni, has said that this is a great victory for the state, showing that it will not surrender uh, while facing the mafia. She thanked uh, the police, uh, the security officials, the paramilitary carabinieri, as well as anti-mafia prosecutors nationally and those in Palermo itself. Uh, we've also heard from the Italian President, Sergio Mattarella, who has called up the Interior Minister, as well as the head of the Carabinieri to congratulate them on this victory in terms of uh, cracking down on this key uh, mafia boss. Seema Gupta reporting there from Rome. Thank you. In other news